Okay. Today we're going to learn about uh, calculus. And the first part that we're going to learn about calculus is doing derivatives. That means finding the gradient or the rate of change of an equation. So the derivative is about finding the rate of change. So for an equation like y equals x squared, on a graph it looks like this, or it looks pretty much like that. And using, if we can find the derivative of this equation, which is described by this graph, we can find the rate of change at any point on the graph. So here, the rate of change is very small or little, nothing. So it's because it's very flat here, but here it increases and it gets faster and faster. The rate of change is increasing there. But what is it? We want to, we want numbers to deal with it. Okay. So let's look at a simpler example. If we had the equation y equals x, or sorry, y equals 2x, we, we already know how to find the derivative of that. It's just this number here, the number 2, the gradient. But if we think back to how we used to find that, this really simple old method, we used to go, we used to have our graph here, and we have x is 1 here, and we have y equals 2 here. So we have this point here where the coordinates are 1 and 2. And then we say, let's pick another point up here where the coordinates are, say, 2 and 4. And let's find the rise over the run. Okay? Everybody should remember rise over run equals m. You've probably known that for a couple of years. So using rise over run, we we find the rise here is one. So rise is one and the run sorry, no, the rise is two and the run is one. So we've got two over one equals two, so the gradient is two. So as it turns out, this this um, old fashioned or this simple method that we had tells us what the derivative of simple equations like y equals 2x is. But rise over run, it's not going to work for something more complicated like y equals x squared. Okay, because with y equals x squared, we run into this problem here. With y equals x squared, we've got a graph that isn't made of straight lines. Okay, so if we want to do rise over run, we're going to end up with this straight line here and it doesn't exactly match up with the graph. So it might give us a good approximation to the rate of change, to the derivative at any point between here and here, where we've got our rise and our run. We might get a, a good approximation to it, but it's not going to be exact. We want an exact method. Okay, 